Dun, 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 dun. What up, folks? It's your boy, MMG Smurf here, coming to you pre-recorded to show you how to bridge from Avalanche to DeFi Kingdoms. Now, you can also bridge from Harmony One blockchain to DeFi Kingdoms. I believe that's a little bit easier. There's a whole bunch of tutorials about that. Uh, this is also, I should say, this is a time-sensitive video because this might be fixed in a day or two or today and later, whatever. Um, but for those that are having trouble today on launch day of Crystal Veil vale on the Avalanche or DFK blockchain, this video is for you. This should help you get bridged over to DeFi Kingdoms. Um, so I'm gonna sh first, I'm gonna show how you can just bridge over to Avalanche from any other blockchain and then and what you need to do next and so let's jump into it no no more delay oops let me sure I actually want okay all right cool so the first thing that I have open here is elk.finance I think elk.finance is a wonderful uh, website exchange bridge uh, and this is what I would choose to use, and it's Elk.Finance, to bridge over to any other blockchain. Uh, I believe there's some limits with this, where like if you're just trying to send like ten or twenty thousand dollars or something like that, then you're probably gonna you might run into some issues. So you might want to cut that up a little bit, make it smaller. Uh, but if you're sending a smaller amount, it's pretty easy. Uh, now, this is Elk.Finance slash swap. So after I went to their main page, you just go into the app or go into push buy Elk. Actually, is what I did here, and it took me to this page. So this is their swap page. And you can see right now I am on the Avalanche blockchain, but if I was on Binance, you know, I could I could click the Binance uh, uh, blockchain right there, uh, choose to switch over to Binance or whatever I want to do. But you can switch over to whatever about blockchain you want right there in this top column. And so you can see they have Binance, they have Kronos, they have Phantom, they have Harmony, they have Moon River, they have Polygon, pretty much any blockchain that you might be on right now doing DeFi, you can use this to bridge over to avalanche and so uh after you've swapped your tokens you want to swap whatever tokens you want to move into elk tokens and then after you have those elk tokens push the elk net button at the top this should be pretty simple to anybody who's actually into crypto and DeFi. so i'm going to kind of zoom through this section um load up your elk tokens here so push max and then choose that chain that you want to go to so uh imagine we were on binance smart chain so we'd want to go to avalanche and so it's fine avalanche oh, i'm on avalanche right now so it's not pop popping up so let me switch my blockchain actually right now, just so you guys can see that. And this should look really familiar to any anybody. If, you, if you've never seen this type of thing that I just did right there, then I don't know how you even found this video. Oops, did, it, did I just allow it to switch me right back immediately? Yeah, I did. Push cancel, cancel. Okay, cool. So now down in the blockchain section, it allows Avalanche. Yay. So we push max on our elk tokens. Let's say we had like 300 elk tokens. You know, Avalanche right there. Probably want a little bit of uh, gas fees. So swap one elk or some elk for some gas fees. If you don't have any Avalanche previously, if you already have a little AVEX Avalanche token on that blockchain, cool. Don't have to worry about it. But if you've never had any Avalanche on the other blockchain, you might want to push this button right here so that you get some Avalanche tokens to help you out with gas fees. Um, and then obviously I don't have any elk tokens right now, but if I did, this would not say insufficient elk. It would say I have enough and I'd push swap. It takes about five minutes or so, uh, sometimes less. It really just depends on how many people are swapping at that time. And there you go. You're on to the next blockchain, on to the next one, on, on to the, I think that's Swiss Beats. All right. Uh, so now I want to go to Avalanche. So switch it back. I'm on Avalanche. So at this point, let's say you moved your tokens over here. Now your tokens are on Avalanche. What do you want to do? Uh, I would start off by probably just going over to the swap, taking all my elk tokens, pushing that max, and then swapping them into AVAX, Avalanche, or AVAX, which is what I learned today that the, the creators of Avalanche like to call it. Um, but that's what you would do first. So go to the swap on elk, and you want to do it on elk because you're probably going to get the best price for those tokens on elk versus on pangolin, which is the other really uh, popular uh, decks on the avalanche blockchain. Uh, so do that first, and now you have a whole bunch of avalanche tokens that you moved from whatever other chain. Next step. Now we're ready to. We have our avalanche tokens. Now we want to bridge these avalanche tokens over to DeFi Kingdoms. Um, and this is if you came from, you know, somewhere else other than if you, you weren't already on Harmony. Or, um, so, so then you're going to go to DeFiKingdoms.com, the website, DeFiKingdoms.com. And again, we're on the avalanche blockchain right now. Uh, and if you're having issues with this, uh, like if it does, just doesn't show the right information that I'm, that I'm, I'm about to show you, uh, just type in beta dot defi kingdoms.com at the, at the beginning of it and that works as well it's just like where they upload things it's like their public test realm basically for defi kingdoms so if, if for whatever reason it's not loading up in your region yet you know 
first and foremost, push control and F5 to refresh your, you know, refresh your cache and stuff like that um, on your website. Uh, but if that doesn't work, you know, push put beta dot DeFi Kingdoms at the front and then and then go through this process. Okay, so I'm gonna push start. I've already done the refresh cache and all that stuff. And instead of the normal load screen that I should get normally on the Harmony blockchain, it's showing me this one. So this is the Crystal Veil look. We got this Snow Sage Elia. Uh, Sage. <laughs> I was going to call it Mage, but I'm like, not Sage. Okay, so I'm going to click on her and it'll show they say get started. You can read all this information. It's just like some, you know, it's just text, like game text. So get started. Uh, and then you have a whole bunch of options here. You can purchase Avalanche tokens, swap for Jewel, travel to Crystal Vale, uh, move Avac Avalanche tokens to get started, move Jewel to get started. I would choose to, uh, and you can do this on Pangolin or you can do it here, uh, but you want to swap for Jewel. So swap tokens. Um, so if you have only Avalanche tokens, you don't have any Jewel on the Avalanche blockchain yet. And if you just move via the Elk, Elk exchange that I just showed you, then you probably don't. Um, so push this and they have their own integrated decks um, from uh, whatever it's called. Pangolin, it's using Pangolin. It says Pangolin decks up here. And they, this is their own decks. And so you have your Avalanche tokens and then you want to select Jewel down here. And you can see I've already purchased some Jewel, uh, but I'll, I'll run through again with you guys. So point one. Oops, 0 0.1, there you go. And that'll give me some jewel. Maybe I wanna go 0.11. Uh, and I noticed that it's having troubles. They might fix this in, in a later date, but it's having troubles with decimal points. Uh, so whatever you're purchasing, make sure it's a full rounded number of that, that amount of token. Otherwise, you're gonna have some uh, some issues. All right, so we got our avalanche tokens up top. We got our, the amount of jewel we want. And again, you want to make sure that this is rounded because for right now, at least, they're having trouble with decimal points. So whatever you wanna bridge over in this next step, you want it to be a full amount of jewel tokens. If you wanna move two jewel, it needs to be two. It's not gonna be 2.1, something like that. The decimal points just are not working. So I'm gonna say, say 0.11 avalanche for this much jewel. Confirm that swap. It should look very familiar to anybody. Mm. All right, that went through. Um, if I wanted to, we could we could wait a little bit and we could confirm that we have that much more jewel in here, or just uh, oops. So you got my Krabata tokens, or just look at your uh, your MetaMask wallet and confirm that you have a little bit more Jewel token, or that it's going through. So right there, boom, it went through. Uh, now I can see my extra Jewel down there. I have about two Jewel. Cool. All right, so now we got that Jewel. We want to bridge the Jewel. So next step is after you have that Jewel token and you just want to purchase Jewel on either Pangolin or right here, uh, bridge that Jewel token. So I'm gonna click click the bridge Jewel button. And then it says Avalanche C chain. So this is just the normal Avalanche blockchain. Uh, and you want to make sure it's on Jewel. So if you if you get here from any of the other windows, uh, actually, I'm going to change that in just a second. And then the, the bottom one, it says DeFi Kingdoms, and it says Jewel, right? Cool. So actually, this one does not want to be on Jewel. And this is a problem that I was actually running into earlier on, and somebody helped me out with it. And so you actually want to switch this, and I would give them credit, but it was just a random person in the chat. But instead of Jewel, you want to have it say multi-Jewel, and that's the reason why you haven't seen the balance up top. Wow, look, all of a sudden we see the balance. And so change it to multi-Jewel. Uh, again, I, I can't go uh, have uh, 2.08, right? But I can't put a decimal point in. After I type in a decimal, and it just dis del deletes it. Even if I had to type in one point something, it just deletes it. So a full number. And I think part of that is because they have this Jewel fee here. Bridge fee is 0.05, I think. But, you know, I don't know. And make sure this is multi jewel on the Avalanche C chain, um, multi jewel into jewel on DeFi Kingdoms. Push uh, the bridge, uh, approve bridge. That'll be loading. Shouldn't take too long. Check it again. Oh, it went through. Cool. So it went through. 
and that was just to approve it again. So it's keep everything that we have the exact same and then we'll push the bridge button. So you see, I needed a little avalanche in my wallet. Otherwise it's not going to work out. Now you can see it says pending at the top as well. So it's bridging it over to that new, that new, uh, blockchain, the, the subnet. And this is, uh, I mean, if people, if you didn't know what Avalanche is used for, this is one of the major cases of Avalanche where, um, similar to like Waves token, where everybody could have, you know, it was, it was really early to the, um, kind of like ERC-20 type of tokens. Everybody could have their own tokens and stuff like that with, with Waves or now with Ethereum. Well, with Avalanche, everybody can have their own blockchains. Uh, and so wild, 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 wild times we're in. All right, cool. We got that. Um, now we want to actually head back. So you can push the back button if you want, or you could just should have popped open two windows for you. So you can just pop push this other one. And so now I'm going to scroll down this page, get started, and then we just want to travel to Crystal Vale. And if I was on the other one, because uh, that, that didn't happen to me, it'd be we swap for Jewel Right, and then we just want to click on this and scroll down to travel to Crystal Vale. So I'm going to do it from the beginning. Make sure you have Bridge Jewel over first so you can complete transactions in Crystal Vale. And that's why we wanted to have that multi jewel. We're gonna take me to Crystal Vale. Take me to Crystal Vale. The first time it's gonna load up a whole bunch of information like this, like uh, like you would see on Chainlist, which is a very chainlist.org is a very popular site for loading in new RPCs. Um, uh, I believe they already have this information on Chainlist as well. And they are working with Pokt, P L K T to add more nodes and whatnot. And I believe the POC nodes are also on um, a chain list as well. So you can also use those. Um, so we're gonna switch from Avalanche C chain to the DFK chain mainnet now. And I've already done this, so it looks a little different on mine. And here we are. We are now loaded in here. So that's all it took to get your tokens over there. Now at this point, uh, it's gonna be a little bit buggy still as everything rolls out in this first day. That's why I mentioned the whole different RPCs because you might wanna, if uh, this it was the case the first time that I got on um, on Deep Eye Kingdom as well on Harmony where it was really loaded up. And so you might wanna check out different RPC nodes so that you can move around and actually get all the information to load in for you today, uh, especially as everybody's rushing to it. Um, but, uh, and I mentioned that because when I go to the marketplace and go to the Druid, which is where you wanna, you'll go to make your uh, your LPs and stuff. I was not able to see my, oh, I can see it now, cool. I was not able to see my jewel for, for, for a while at first though. Um, and so I was mentioning that for that reason, but showing up this time, so great. Uh, and obviously the trader would be where you'd wanna go to make um, that, you know, trade some. So the first pairs are gonna be X jewel and jewel so you'd want to take 50 percent of your and they made it really nice and easy there for you you want to take 50 percent of your jewel and make it into x jewel and swap that and then go back to the druid uh create that pool and and then after you have created the pool we'll go back you're going to go over to the gardens area and you're going to go to seeds seed box and this is where you're going to push that pool and so Actually, I wasn't a, this wasn't loading for me earlier, but there it is right here. This uh, X Jewel and Jewel pool. I'm gonna see if they would actually allow me to load it in. Nope, no other information right now. Cool, and that's it. Um, so for this first part of the game, uh, you have six hours from the launch, which was a little over an hour and a half from now, right now, the time that I'm making this. Um, but you have until 2 p.m. on uh, March 30th till. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern on March March 30th to get everything situated and then the emissions will you'll be able to stake and the emissions will start coming out for this farm and so this is a highly anticipated farm uh, the team themselves said the APR is probably going to be really high to start off but as we know as more and more people enter these things it starts to tick down oh actually there's like a little estimated timer on this other page that I was just on so let me show you guys that estimated start four hours and 21 minutes uh, of course, if there's any type of delay, the team will let, you, let us know. Um, yeah, and there's that. There's that information. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful uh, in letting you know how to bridge not only to Avalanche uh, from any other blockchain, but then also from Avalanche into DeFi Kingdom's own subnet chain. Um, so, yeah, see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Smurf, help.